our first guest <laughs> as an actress and creator of the popular Real Girls Kitchen blog, as well as the very popular clothing line, Little Moon Society. And today she is in our kitchen making us delicious little bites that are packed with very big flavor. Welcome back, our good friend, Haley Duff. Welcome back. Hi, how are you? Hi, you? I love it. See you guys. How are you? Good we love you. having you. You're just right down the street. I, I just popped over from the house. Like, you know what? Hey, <laughs> guys. And make some savory appetizers, sweet and savory appetizers yes. for the gang. You guys dig in. You're going to love it. You got it. Good. We got it ready to go. Sweet potato right? later. Yes. And we have everything that's like sweet and salty. Salty all combined into one little bite. Now, I know very much like Maria and Kim and myself, Cameron maybe perhaps, mm -hmm. you are a big fan of appetizers that are sweet and savory, but yes. appetizers mm -hmm. for parties, not just, you know, it's sit It's a down little dinners. less pressure that yeah. way, right? You don't have to set a table. Oh, yeah. You can kind of like set a pretty little center table and then everybody just helps themselves. Good I idea, that's great. I wait on my kids all love day that. long. Right. <laughs> I don't want to wait on anybody else. I'm like, I'm done. Exactly right. So this is a great way to really fill up your guests with something that's hearty. Where people don't leave being like, I want to go get a burger on the way home. Right, you know? correct. And it starts with some delicious candied bacon that you're going to show oh, us how to make. I oh. can't wait. Candy bacon. This is one of my favorite things to make. It's very simple. You're going to put it on a cooling rack on top of a baking sheet. And that's going to let the oil really like drip through the fat. So it gets crunchy. A little pepper is going to go on each one because we're really, we're aiming for that sweet and salty and I see you're profile. using the, um, the very good I'm quality like, bacon. That's don't a thick sneeze. piece of bacon. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's a nice, you know, you don't want the like thin ones. You want to have like a little um, substance for everything to kind of stick on top of. Okay. So this is some brown sugar going right on the top and you really want to coat them well because this is going to give you all that ooey gooey goodness on there. And look how simple that was. That's it. Yeah, They're I mean, it's super it, yummy too. Literally, like right my now. kids really? make this with me. So Great this job. This is a very easy one. You could make yep. this and put on top of salads, all kinds yeah. of Well, that's, that's what right. I love about these is the flavor profile really can go mm -hmm. into oh, really? anything a salad, a sandwich, whatever you want. So good. So these are 325 for 15 minutes. Okay. I feel like I could eat a thousand of these. Oh my God. Yes, her so plate is empty. I'm going to need more. I'm like, girl, we got you. It's coming up. Oh my gosh, look at that. So here is our candied bacon. Wow. 350 for how long? Delicious. 325 for oh. about 15 minutes. Oh. You want to just see wow. the edges get crispy mm -hmm. and the center kind of set, but good. it will continue cooking when you take it out. Do you have to flip so them You don't want to cook too oh, long. That's a good question. Do you have to flip them in the oven or do no, you just leave them like that? No, that's the beauty so of the cooling rack. Yeah. 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 The yeah. rack really gives the heat the ability to go all underneath and around that's instead right. of just the top. Great. This is good. Okay, now we move okay, on to Okay, so next we're going to do our sweet potato bites, and this is the base for our Little appetizer yeah. here. Okay. So we're gonna lay them all out. You wanna help me do it? Sure. See, so just they're not cooked. No, okay. these are just raw sliced through, and I leave okay. the skins on because they really keep them together. And that's where all the nutrients are, by the way. Really? Yeah, and the skin of a lot of vegetables. <laughs> like, good to know. Yeah. Right there. Good to know. Well, yeah. you wanna just make sure you clean them really well. Okay. Give them a good scrub, yeah. get them really dry because that's how they'll get crispy. Okay. You wanna do the oil, so girlfriend? Just olive oil. That's right, just right on the top. Man, these are all the things that are yeah. I love. A sweet I mean, potato is so good for you. Yeah. Right. It kind of acts like your cracker or the bread, right. you know? Yeah. Here we go. Nice. I like a little salt on the top. Of sweet potatoes. Bring out our flavor. That's it. Oh, my god. And gosh. these are going to okay. go right in. For how long? The same thing. 325, you get to use your same oven heat. You don't have to wow. mess with it. Can you put them in the same like time? Is that a silly minutes. question? Same time? Yeah, you sure. definitely could. And I mean, the bacon's going to pop a little, but you definitely mm. could. I just saved everybody like 15 minutes. <laughs> there you go. You're and here's how they come out. Love it. They shrink oh. down a little. They get, like, nice yeah. and soft. And now we build. <clears throat> Let's build, girl. Let's build, baby. Wow. So this is the flavor combination that I think people crave so mm -hmm. much. That really sweet, salty, mm -hmm. savory. Yeah. Bite all in one. Well, I feel like yummy. so many appetizers have bread as the base. It's kind of refreshing to not have something that is as heavy as like a piece of bread, but I mean, you still get that true. kind of comfort from the sweet potato. All saying? of us are trying to eat less bread. Yeah. That's true. But not cheese. Not cheese. Don't make me give up cheese. A little Please. bit of goat cheese is going to... So the goat cheese, let's do them like this. We have a little more space. Okay, smart. So this is some goat cheese. We're going to add some almond milk to it. Oh, and that's a good idea. What's that going to do? And this is going to make it a little creamier, a little sweeter. It's just oh, going to make it a little wow. more pliable. Nice. You're going to mash, okay. mash in there. Okay, you want me to do it for you? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. We're going to do a little rosemary. I love rosemary. Oh, that's perfect. And then we're going to add a little... Honey in here. Oh my gosh! You've the just slow, the slow drip, guys. You've made your own flavored goat cheese. Yeah, that's exactly right. And honestly, you can play with this with a lot of different things. If you wanted to put, see, look how it gets nice oh and creamy. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Hey, you could crush the nuts and put it inside the goat cheese, like it really. So it's all mixed together, so it'll fall. Yeah. Uh, while Debbie's mixing, and you guys Good are job, beginning girlfriend. to uh, to build. I know you, you got a, a new spring line coming out for your children's Ooh. clothing line. Uh, that's coming yes. out. 
Tell us about it, Little Moon Society. Well, we have our spring collection that's available this week. It'll be on the website and in stores. And it's so cute, by the way. Thank you. The clothes are adorable. So you're gonna put your little and this is your goat cheese collection? dollop. I know. Can you believe I can't that? Believe it. I Good for you. It here. Remember By the way, I did. Wow. We, it was the wow. fashion show yes, with you guys. The fashion show here when she launched it, and I said, "Oh, what is this? Like two or three? She goes, "I'm on five now." It's wow. crazy. I can't, I, I can't it. even believe it. It's like so the best fast. blessing. And your daughter modeled for us, remember? Oh, she was so man. cute. Oh, that was adorable. Loved she, by it. the way, she still wears those clothes. They're like three sizes too small, but she really happens to like them. Well, guess what, girlfriend? <laughs> I brought us some new clothes, so you don't you have to do that You didn't even know that, that that was I coming. I had no idea. Oh my gosh, I was not fishing. Every, time, every time she put her head down, I was like, she's gonna see it, she's gonna see it. Oh, oh, we uh, we that was coming, Deb. It's so funny you set it up like that. Do you make it for adults, too? I know. <laughs> we actually do, yeah. We we have this dress for adults. It comes with like all kinds of beautiful Matching dyes. Matching mom oh, and daughter. Oh like you can't have her in two small dresses, you know. That oh. is and you know right. well played. Well, well played. Oh my gosh, Haley! I was like, this is the perfect I time. Is that Look cute? That. that is so beautiful. I got this one a little bit bigger for her, thinking she can have that one now and then grow into one a little oh, bit. Oh, I thought this was for me. I buy it. Uh, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> no, it probably could be for you. It's going to be too, small. Oh, it's so be too small. I know you got so a few other things to add there. Go ahead. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our candied bacon on the top. And I like to break, oh my God, look at how that sugar caramelized, it's gorgeous. I like to break them so they're the perfect bite size. You could put a big, nice piece, but it's kind of nice to just pop it all in and yeah. be done. Yeah. Oh, I was trying so to break bite them in it half. half. And you're right, yeah, it was no, a little messy. Eat, mm. you yeah, it's, like, it's nice to have like the so smaller one bite. Got it. Yeah. Like, you know when you go to sushi them. and they bring you the bites that are so gigantic, you're like, yeah. how am I, I need a fork and a knife to cut this, what am I supposed to do? There you go. Oh my gosh, this okay. is amazing. I know, this amazing. is like real addiction food right now. And I'm shocked at how easy it is to make candied bacon. Yeah, it's very simple, but it looks fancy. Mm -hmm. okay. What I like to do with you guys, stuff that like looks fancy was real easy. Some cranberries on the top and some mm. walnuts. You want to add our walnuts? Sure. That little crunch go. adds a lot. To it. I mean, yeah. you get the crunch from the bacon, but also from the, uh, the walnuts. I love it. Totally. And it just looks really festive, and it looks like you put a ton of effort oh, yeah. in, but you didn't. Deb. You uh, both uh, need to have oh. a little bite of that. You're going to freak out. And you know out. what? I know. I'm so excited. I think we also need to give one to Maria. Yeah. 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 Well, I, know. I mean, there's a lot there, guys. You, you can pass it around. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Find this <laughs> recipe on <laughs> channel.com and check out more from Haley at realgirlskitchen.com.